Hello everyone, my name is Huang Yu from Huadu University of Science and Technology. Here I am presenting this work regarding large scale graph processing on GPU accelerated heterogeneous architecture. This is a joint work with University of New South Wales. Graph processing has been widely used in variety real world applications, including relationship prediction, recommendation system, information tracking, and knowledge mining. There are a lot of graph processing systems on CPU. Compared to CPU, GPU often has a higher computational parallelism and bandwidth. For example, the latest GPU V100 has over 7.8 teraflops, double processing with massive parallelism. It adopts high bandwidth memory with 32 gigabytes and over 100 gigabytes per second internal bandwidth. Compared to CPU-based graph systems, GPU systems offer superior speed-up, even for a graph algorithm that involves substantial lightweight initial and comparison-based operations. Unfortunately, many real-world graphs still cannot fit into GPU memory to enjoy high performance in memory graph processing. For example, NVIDIA's high-end Tesla V100 has 32 gigabytes global memory, while real-world graphs can easily reach the terabytes. This has spurred the development of some distributed graph systems. However, they suffer from prohibitive communication overheads and also require an extensive range of domain knowledge to maintain. There is no available alternative of turning a single machine like with a GPU to support scale up large scale graph processing. One can take advantage of large host memory to store large scale graphs while still enjoying high performance graph processing on GPU. This is a typical GPU accelerated heterogeneous architecture. In this architecture, compared to the high speed internal bandwidth of GPU cores accessing global memory, a GPU is generally connected to the host with a relatively slow interface. This significant performance gap often limits the performance potential achieved on GPU accelerated heterogeneous architecture if the host GPU data transfer are frequent. Some simple heuristics are used to reduce the number of data transfers. First, totem partition a graph into subgraphs one for the host and one for GPU by keeping the amount of data transport to a minimum at the expense of load imbalance. Second, Garak can currently process all active subgraphs on both the host and the GPU. Last, Graphic process or subgraph on GPU but reprocess only the recently processed subgraphs in next iteration. However, this graph system always transfers an active graph subgraph in its entirety to GPU, resulting in poor utilization of host GPU bandwidth. This is a typical example of graph processing engine used in existing solutions. Function calls in blue are executed on GPU. Due to the limited GPU memory, a graph G is first divided into subgraphs. During the Intel graph processing, the vertex data of G always resides in GPU memory, but the edge of data of G, which are separate spread across these subgraphs, will be streamed to the GPU on demand. At each iteration, all active vertices are processed. If the outgoing edges are not in GPU, their containing active subgraphs are transferred to GPU in their entirety. Afterward, these active vertices will be processed on GPU to active more destination vertices possibly. This simple graph processing engine doesn't effectively utilize the limited host GPU bandwidth since many vertices in active subgraph are not active. Simply transport an Intel subgraph of GPU but consuming only a fraction of its data will waste a considerable amount of host GPU bandwidth. As a result, all the re required data cannot arrive at GPU promptly, limiting the performance that can be potentially achieved on GPU. Let us examine a study for three graph algorithms. We see that the ratios of the unused data over 
the used data in subgraph transfer to GPU range from only 6% to the 36%. This indicates that host GPU bandwidth and graph is utilized rather ineffectively. Consequently, we say that the performance of graph for each graph algorithm has plateaued as soon as number of stream multiprocessor equals 4. However, mainstream GPU accelerator usually have far more than four stream multiprocessor. For example, NVIDIA Tesla K18 has 26 streaming processors, while P100 has been integrated with 56 streaming multiprocessors. Moreover, we also run three algorithms on large graph on a PC with three generations of GPUs. We see little performance gains when increasingly more powerful GPUs are used. Thus, a significant gap between the poor proliferation of data and the high speed computation of GPU. In this work, we present a value driven subgraph schedule. For the subgraph, it active vertex were well across iterations. We characterize the data of the subgraph into three categories. First, Useful data indicates UD. There are the edge data associated with or active vertices in subgraph. For example, the edge between vertex 1 and the vertex 3. UD will be used in current iteration and must be transferred to GPU. Second, potentially useful data indicates POD. There are edge data associated with all the future active vertices in future iteration in a subgraph. For example, the edge between vertex 4 and the vertex 5, unlike UD, POD is not actually used in current iteration, but may be transferred repeatedly to GPU if not handled carefully. Last, never used data in case NUD. These other edge data will be never used again in a subgraph associated with vertices that have converged and will never be active. For example, the age between vertex 3 and the vertex 7. This further shows that the amount of UD, POD, and AOD for the active subgraphs across all the iteration for three graph algorithm operating on data. We say that the existing work wastes the host GPU bandwidth in two ways. First, POD usually discarded but need in future iterations is substantial in earlier iteration. Second, NUD, which is becoming increasingly more dominant as the iteration progress, is streamed to GPU redundantly. In this work, our key is that for improving the effective utilization of host GPU bandwidth is to look beyond the current iteration by considering not only its UD in the current iteration, but also its POD in future iteration. We therefore present the SCARF, a scale up for graph processing for large scale graph on GPU accelerated heterogeneous platforms. All the subgraphs of the graph are computed on the GPU where the host is responsible for their preparation. At each iteration, it dispatches classifies a subgraph into either a high value or a low value subgraph and sends it to the corresponding agent to facilitate value driven differential scheduling. Both engines scheduling their subgraph to, uh, for acceleration on GPU independently but concurrently. SCARF is essentially a hybrid graph system that allows out of all the computation of high value subgraphs in each circular iteration. The use of a circular execution allows faster convergence but also changes the vertex scheduling priority of subgraphs. Therefore, a subgraph algorithm can use SCARF safely for preserving the convergence if it satisfies the correct condition that the final vertex results are inattentive to the value propagation order. Graph computation process until convergence, the value of subgraph G can be measured in terms of its UD used in current iteration and its POD used in future iteration. Therefore, the value of subgraph can be defined as the equation where D represents the number of outgoing edge of vertex where A indicates that V is active or not in a specific iteration.
We can just say that the value of subgraph depends on its active vertices and their degrees. In the case of uniform degree distribution, the active stages of vertices can still differentiate the amount of UD, PUD, and AUD for subgraph. This is the overall differential schedule based on the subgraph value. Initially, graph G is partitioned into subgraphs at the host and distributed across its new loads. All vertices are resident on GPU where edges are streamed. SCARF uses two graphs processing engine for scheduling high value or low value subgraphs respectively. Both engines work independently but concurrently. At the end of each iteration, SCARF will transfer back the updated vertices from the GPU to the CPU. Edges which are not modified are thus not transferred. Suppose graph G is a high value spark. Its throughput can be measured as T underscore which way, where the denominator represents the data transfer time and used to approximate the time on processing G. T underscore barrier is a civilization overhead for G. The numerator represents the amount of UD and PUD access when G is iterated on our GPU. We use balance factor lambda to decay PUD to signify the actual amount of PUD accessed. Similarly, the throughput of low value subgraph can be measured as G underscore HV LV. Now G is a high value subgraph is for T underscore HV is greater than T underscore LV. Thus we get this expression. In practice, for a subgraph, its PUD is active from its UD, motivating us to estimate the PUD of a subgraph based on the UD of the same graph. In this work, we consider subgraph have a high value if either of the following two conditions, real alpha and beta, are set to 50% and 30%, which we found to work well across all of our applications. The K2 extracting the most value of out of high value subgraph lets in how to fully exploit their PUD. A useful data of running each loaded subgraph multi times is used in the out of box settings to exploit the intrinsic value in subgraph. However, under a GPU accelerated heterogeneous architecture, subgraph must be small enough to aim for fine grade the GPU scheduling. In this case, simply iterating over such a small size subgraph multi times is often ineffective, since it can exploit only the purity of its active vertices active by other active vertices, but not active vertices from other subgraphs. In, in SCAF, we improve the PUD exploration significantly by enable exporting the external value across the subgraph. Our key observation is that given a subgraph already available in GPU memory, scheduling it again after a period delay can expose the PUD fully, then processing it repeatedly. We thus present a queen assisted much round processing based on a K level priority queen to enable rescheduling a GPU resident subgraph after some delay. K indicates mass number of times some subgraph has been processed in current iteration. Thus, K will vary from iteration to iteration. The K to exporting the most value of non value subgraph is to extract their UD efficiently. We use multiple CPU calls at the host to parallelize the UD extraction. Due to the new non-uniform memory access, scanning nearly all vertices in a subgraph extract is UD can still be costly. We present a new aware UD extraction to boost the performance and improve internal load balance. The UD extraction for each subgraph is done in its own thread, which is bounded to the NUMA load stored in the subgraph. To improve internal load imbalance, we also duplicate in a NUMA load and equal the number of randomly selected subgraphs from the other loads if there's still some memory space available. 
We adopt a simple bitmap based approach to extract the UD from subgraph inflation. All its vertices are stored in a bitmap with the one indicating that indicating that the corresponding vertex is active, and a high value subgraph which can each be stored in the same size chunk in GPU memory. No value subgraph may give rise to UD induced subgraph of variant in size to, re to reduce the fragmentation from getting SCARF further divides each chunk for storing the subgraph in small tiles. To store a UD induced subgraph in GPU memory, SCARF will try to find the tiles first in partially filled chunk and then in a weakened chunk. We have also discussed some limitations of SCARF for boosting the performance further, including graph partition and auto of core solution to handle large graphs. More details, please see the paper. We compare SCARF with the following three state of the art CPU GPU heterogeneous graph systems, including Totem, Graphic, and Gara. The size of subgraph is set to 32 megabytes for several reasons. First, the host GPU bandwidth tends to be underutilized with small size. Second, subgraph will be streamed to GPU more frequently with larger size, as they tend to contain active vertices for more iteration. Finally, the kernel launch overheads appear to be well handled with 32 megabytes. Graph, application, graph applications include three typical graph algorithms and two actual workloads. The server we used in is configured with two NUMA loads and 512 gigabytes memory in total. The GPU accelerator is P100 with 56 streaming multiprocessors and 16 memory. Yeah. The speed up of SCARF or TOTEM ranges from 2.23 times to 7.64 times. TOTEM performance bottleneck less in the load imbalance as it partitions each graph into only into subgraphs, one for host and one for GPU. As a result, TOTEM cannot tap GPU's processing power to exploit adequately the UD and the PUD in a graph where SCARF does. Second, SCARF is faster than graphic, which is speed up ranging from 3.03 times to 16.41 times. Both graphic and SCARF process all subgraphs on GPU only, so graphic can be understood as a version of SCARF, where every SCARF is treated as high value subgraph, except that its UD is used, but PUD is exploited rather inadequately. Last, SCARF is faster than GARAF by 3.71 times on average. GARAF cannot distinguish high value from low value subgraphs as SCARF does. GARAF is inferior to SCARF as it still transforms more AUD to GPU and explores the PUD less adequately. We evaluate the effectiveness of SCARFs by considering four variations. First, SCARF HVSP, where all the low value subgraphs can be understood being misidentified as high value subgraphs. Second, SCARF LVSP, that all the high value subgraphs are misidentified as low value subgraphs. Third, SCARF H base, the differential processing is used, but queen based scheduling is not applied. Last, SCARF L base, that are variations of SCARF LVSP, except that the every subgraph is streamed in tail. We say that the nature of SCARF HVSP and the SCARF LVSP is always better than other, and also SCARF is the best performer for all the algorithms on all the graphs. Thus, SCARF value driving differential scheduling or with heuristic SCARF identification is highly effective. In particular, we say that SCARF HBase is significantly inferior to SCARF HVSP. This is because small subgraphs often contain very little purity from themselves worthy of being exploited. 
or queen based scheduling all allows the arrangement of POD from other subgraphs will delay the scheduling. Thus, multi, multi times processing under scarf HVSP can expose significantly more POD than the under scarf H base. We also investigate SCARF scalability in terms of the number of streaming multi processors, graph size, memory size, and the GPU generations. We select graph as reference with a varying number of streaming multi processors. We say that SCARF is significantly more scalable than graph for all the three graph algorithms, since SCARF can utilize the host GPU bandwidth more effectively as already motivated earlier. By varying graph sets, we say that both SCARF and GRAPH maintain their throughput as well as the graph sets increase, but the degree for the graphs that can no longer fit into GPU memory. However, SCARF has a slower performance reduction rate than GRAPH. By varying GPU memory size, SCARF is nearly intensive. Since it is supported UD and PUD for high value subgraph and UD only for low value subgraph always, by applying different GPU generations compared to the graphic that shows few speed ups, SCARF enables significant speed up as a powerful GPU is adopted. In the all, in this paper tackles the challenge faced in achieving scale up large scale graph processing on a GPU accelerated heterogeneous architecture. We introduced a SCARF, a value driven heterogeneous graph system that differentially schedules the subgraphs partitioned from graph according to their values in order to improve the effective utilization of host GPU bandwidth. Our evaluation are representative graph algorithm use a range of graph data sets out performance data of the app significantly by 3.71 times to 8.93 times speed ups. Thanks very much for your listening. I'm happy to take any questions, which can also be sent to this correspondence email.